sure if they're there. Uh, hello? You confused me. Uh, what's up guys? Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> We're here to talk about some of our top recommended Christmas gifts to buy your loved ones. If you are not interested in this video and you just want to hear maybe the hardest hitting part of this video, at the very end we're going to give a very special deal. Hear all those berries? So if you just want to get to that, just fast forward very quickly. Muy especial. <laughs> so these are our best gifts to give for the holidays. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. You want to start us off? For sure. Um, well, the one sitting right next to me is the Bible. I think this is a great gift. Or to buy anyone. Uh, it's brought so, so much peace and joy in my life and what more could you get, what better gift could you give? And since we are celebrating the birth of Christ, you might as well learn about Jesus. Some call him the ultimate empath and I would call him my savior and uh, he lives within me and guides me on a daily basis. Also known as the Holy Spirit. So uh, definitely get some Holy Spirit in you and give that away. Next gift, uh, I'll go, I'll go, let's go with the big one right away. You go with the big one? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the big one. Because now that we're getting to materialistic stuff. Are you guys ready for the big one? Um, I was a little, I was a little hesitant about giving this gift because I thought like maybe I could get an affiliate link because I believe in this product so much. But actually, I think everything that we're gonna be showing y'all today, we don't have an affiliate link for. So don't be worried about us being biased. Mm -hmm. Um, but here it is. This is a <laughs> oh, don't drop that. <laughs> this is a Hario cold drip coffee maker. Uh, you can adjust the speed. Let's just say highly caffeinated, low acidic coffee, especially when we'll talk about what's next. But I think this is the best coffee, and I think it's gonna take over the coffee market. I feel like I'm giving a big secret away for any action takers out there. I really do believe we all have million dollar ideas, but it's just the ones willing to take action. Take action on this product and start your coffee shop. And while we're, while we're on the topic of coffee, we got your French press. Uh, if you don't know what this is, definitely check it out. It's a great way to brew coffee um, and mate or like loose leaf tea. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great thing to take with you for all you tea drinkers out there. This is the handheld hand coffee grinder. No electricity. You can take this anywhere. You can be in the middle of the jungle and uh, still get fresh ground coffee. It's, who, oh, it's also made from Hario. Man, those Japanese people, they know their coffee. You thought they were tea drinkers. Yeah, but no one's ready to drink coffee right now. <laughs> and yeah, for you coffee drinkers, quick tip, get great coffee beans, like the whole bit. Fair trade, organic, shade grown, and freshly grind it. And when a grinder like this, it's a softer, less oxidating grind and uh, get it freshly roasted too. That's what I highly recommend if you can find a roaster nearby or the look at the roast date. You want it roasted within like a week if you're gonna be an elitist like me. Yeah, definitely buy organic. Coffee is one of the most heavily sprayed, uh, chemically wise, crops in the world. So go organic with coffee. This is an AeroPress. <laughs> we are coffee addicts, yeah, dude. Look love, at us. We love coffee. <laughs> Don't, you know, use it. Don't be used by it. Lifeblood of champions. But this is an AeroPress. This is a great coffee brewing uh, tool. It's a hybrid between a French press and filtered coffee, meaning you can press this coffee and get the most out of it, but also still have the filtered and not the dirtiness of a French press. Also, what's the main ingredient in coffee is water. So uh, as my friend, I made a Facebook status a second ago about what other people would recommend from gifts, and I have another fellow um, spring water connoisseur who's coming on our Virgin Islands retreat, Sean Gerhardt. Hello, yes, hello. Yes. He suggested a five gallon glass carboy filled with spring water and a map to the spring that that water came from. Oh, he's coming to the Virgin Islands tree? Yeah, yeah. You mean January 2nd? Yeah. <laughs> I think we still have another spot available for that, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we have a few, but let's get to that to the end of the video. Uh, speaking of that, glass. Glass. Just get some cool glass containers. Look at this baby right here, but I can drink smoothies out of. Yes, sir. Or beer, which we'll get to in a second. Yeah, you know, because uh, with plastics, um, I don't know too much about this, although I have heard that if you drink or uh, consume food from plastic containers, it could leak estrogen into your body. And this man right here, I have a hard enough time keeping up with the, the alphas around here. I don't need any extra estrogen in my life, all right? 
So if you're <laughs> if you're looking to become more of a manly man, get some glass in your life. <laughs> and just the feel taste. A lot of people don't realize that how much texture has to do with what you're consuming. So if you can get a nice cool glass coffee mug or that, or when you're drinking your spring water, and I highly suggest go find a spring.com. Thank you, Sean, for that suggestion. Uh, speaking of plastics and spring water, here's a good plastic container. The Vitamix. Vitamix. Yeah, if you know anyone that's interested in health, I would say having a Vitamix on hand is one of the best gifts you could give. And speaking of plastic in general, just a shout out to Mother Nature. Do not drink plastic bottled water. I mean, okay, gallons are okay, but you know, to have a 20 ounce bottle of water and like, you know, those big contain, those big things of uh, plastic bottled water. Okay. That is ridiculous, guys. Have some, we, need to, we need to have some respect. I need to have some respect and not buy these things just to uh, help preserve the beauty of our earth because that's very wasteful. And speaking of Mother Earth in liquid form, we got a juicer here. This is the Breville. Um, I'm blocking my face here. This is the Breville. <laughs> uh, now for juicers, there's all, company, all kinds of companies out there, but I would probably suggest what our friend Penny Shelton once told us that use the juicer that you'll use the most. Yeah. Get the juicer that you'll use the most. I know for some health crises or health reminders, mm. maybe something with a slow juicer, like a green star where you can do some like herbs, um, parsley, dandelion, cannabis, herbs like that, and you're really trying to overcome a health crisis, that might be better. But if you're just going for general health and you just want to juice a bunch of celery and apples and cucumbers, I go. I say go with the juice. Uh, I say go with the Breville, which reminds me of going to step back. That's one of the things I really like about this Hario cold brew coffee maker. Look at it, glass on glass. All right. Uh, so moving right along into some uh, some food products, you know. <laughs> that was so like commercial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I love the gift of raw honey. Our bees are out there working hard for us, so let's reap their, the rewards <laughs> of their work and eat their honey. <laughs> and uh, organic cacao nibs, the gift of chocolate and theobromine in your body. Those are some great things to have. Yeah, I'm not much of a product pusher or a supplement salesman, but I, well, the one thing that I will sell and that I've been consuming for quite some time now is clay. Bitonite clay, and you should see how much uh, clay and cinnamon my dad puts in his ice cream. And it's a real delight. It's a true delight, tasty delight. Now, moving along to our sporting goods section, <laughs> we have uh, gen wooden gymnastic rings. And I think these are actually made out of bamboo. And uh, get the wooden ones. Don't get the metal, don't get the plastic. I smell the bee rooms coming up. <laughs> don't get the plastic, because wood absorbs sweat and it makes actually for a better grip. The plastic, if you start to sweat, it gets really slippery. Speaking of absorbing sweat, show what you're holding in the other I hand. Those are your I know, ones, well, anyways, they might not smell the best, but these things right here, they definitely changed my uh, fitness levels. In a way, not directly, but by wearing them, I was able to tap into new things like bouncing on bosey balls. And another good thing that gymnastics rings are good for, if you have a son or daughter you're trying to keep from kissing their boyfriend or girlfriend, you just put them on top of the other head, and watch what he was a little cautious. You can't kiss um, each other. See that? Yeah, that worked. I'm impressed. Good one, Timothy. I'm going to start marketing those as something else. Um, now, speaking of a random thing that uh, apparently some smart people, multiple smart people have told me that I think the number one mineral that we're missing out of our diet and our lifestyle is magnesium. So I have been spraying magnesium on my body at nighttime for deeper sleeping. And at least that's what it felt like. Wow. Is that when I'm around you, I feel like you're just going to sleep? <laughs> that's not true. No, that's not true. Don't take me seriously. Hey, it may be to the degree that you allow yourself to sleep, is to the degree that you are fully alive. Only 5% of the things that I say can be taken seriously. And speaking of dirt and Mother Earth and what it provides for us, get some real salt in you. See that? Real. Yeah, and I'm not necessarily suggesting the real salt company, which I, but I will. I will suggest that one. But just look for that. Kind of like mineralized salt, true salt, not sodium chloride. That's another whole video. Yeah, this is uh, Redmond Clay and real salt. That's where it's at. Um, right. And also for sleeping purposes, Diana and I were lucky enough to just receive a random like $500 care package of uh, <laughs> essential oils one day. And we contacted the company, they told us to keep it, but uh, this right here is a essential oil distributor. Mm. So it's like a humidifier in a way. So you put a little water, mix a little cinnamon, 
or whatever the essential oil of the day is, and your, your room tastes like Christmas. Speaking of tasting like Christmas, uh, and it's spring water. Mm. If you're gonna buy products such as beer, coffee, tea, these medicines that has been around for a really long time, I'm not, uh, first of all, I'm not condoning drinking a lot of any of those. But if you are doing that, I would suggest supporting brands you've never heard of. There's so many brands popping up and it's a great way, especially local brands, support local brands that are making a new business because usually things that are served in micro batches are usually higher qualities. And especially some beer companies are using spring water. So uh, look into the companies and look into the, where the coffee's coming from, look into where the tea's coming from, and try to do some conscious capitalism, baby. I couldn't agree more. And just to expand on that topic, even where your food comes from, the smaller the farm, the better. You know, even with these um, industrial farms that are producing meats, like if you try to get your meats from smaller farms, most likely they're gonna be more quality products. When a farmer is responsible for a thousand cows versus ten cows, he has to use those antibiotics to make sure that his whole herd doesn't get sick. And that carries on over into the, to the beer, to the coffee. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure about how, the, how the antibiotics carries over to the beer, but I like it. Well, no, think about if you have like a few coffee crops as opposed to like a huge thing. You don't want, you have to spread oh, that idea to control the whole thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to loosen up a little bit. I'm feeling a little stiff. We got this fancy camera and a camera woman. And it doesn't feel like a real Rob Ross video. All right, you made it towards the end. Are you ready? Are you ready for the Rob Ross gift? <laughs> All right, so basically, in the spirit of action taking, I'm your, I'm your action taking coach. Welcome to the team. But basically, we're gonna give an opportunity for anyone that puts a deposit on the retreat between watching this video and Christmas, December 25th, that we're gonna multiply your deposit by 50%. So if you put $1,000 towards a retreat, then you get $500 off the retreat of your choice, whether it's the Virgin Islands, which we have a few spots for, New Zealand, Australia, and even the ones coming down farther in the year. Any any retreat, actually. So. Yeah, and let me tell you something. Rob Ross Retreats has contributed to some of the greatest transformations that's taken place in my life. Um, it Are really you just saying that because you're a Rob Ross? Right? No, I'm not. You know, I think we're getting ready to start our 27th retreat or something like that. <laughs> and I am more excited than ever to go on it. Not as an attendee, not as a facilitator, but just because of the experience that I've had on the rest. And uh, so if you're, it, it really got me unstuck in my life. It got me moving in the right direction. It got very uncomfortable, but I, what I realized is that most of the growth in my life has taken place when I became the most uncomfortable. Hmm. So that saying, all of the growth takes place outside your comfort That's zone? That's right, that's true. That's true. That's more than just a Facebook quote? Yes. Okay, sounds good to me. I really feel like we do have a gift. I have a gift, especially, of inspiring and motivating people to take action. Because we are in a culture of people that are thinking. Just information junkies. You got so many videos to watch that if you made it here, just, just consider the synchronicity. Don't ignore it. If you're feeling called to join us on a retreat this year, you know what I really like about our retreats is that, you know, it sounds, it's, it's an investment in yourself. Because once you come onto a retreat, I feel very confident that you will start making more money than you ever have. Just because you will become more of a whole person. Um, so yeah, join us on one of our retreats. And uh, don't take our word for it. Check out our website, robrowscom slash past retreats. I'll put a link below in the description. And yeah, take that step now. You've got a few days to make that decision and uh, might as well get the discount. Why am I so serious? Come on, JJ, wake up! Sounds like you need another kiss. Like, give me one. Kiss me. Kiss. This is for your sons or daughters. They can't kiss. <laughs> Not your sons and daughters, but their boyfriends and girlfriends. <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right. Did we cover it all? Did that make sense I about think, the discount? I think so. If you, if there's any confusion, just email us, uh, and we'll and fill you in on the. We details. can have a talk too. Yeah, let's go. Let's skate. We want to meet you. You know, if you're passionate about, if you think that you have some similar passions to us, we want to meet you. We want to find out who you are, and who knows, maybe we could end up uh, starting a friendship or working together. And slight, uh, small, fine print. That discount doesn't go if you're already booked for a retreat. This is for the newcomers. That's right. Let's get some newbies on these retreats because we definitely have repeat attendees and I love them as well. And we'll actually be seeing some of them in uh, Virgin Islands. All right. I kind of want to tell them where we're staying, but I'm going to keep it a secret. Expect anything, experience everything, baby. All right, guys. Merry Christmas if we don't see you till then. See you before then, though. Christmas tree.